I ended up receiving a Steam code from Bethesda and I've been playing the game for about two weeks and it's a ton of fun. But first, let's talk about what platforms it's coming out with and what different things they've brought to the table that are new with this game. Starting off, it's on a ton of platforms. The PC, the Xbox One, the Xbox Series S and X, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and the Nintendo Switch. So pretty much anywhere you're gonna play a modern game, you'll be able to play it there. It's totally awesome. They've brought a bunch of different things here. They've definitely enhanced it up to 4K, which is absolutely amazing. This is the original game with the original mission packs, plus a brand new mission pack called Call of the Machine, which is totally amazing. And it includes Quake 2 for the Nintendo 64, which is a slightly different game, which is absolutely amazing. They included both with this. It's also going to be cross-platform, which is absolutely awesome. Now, I think a few different save functionalities are going to depend on what system you're playing it on, but I always love when they have cross-platform multiplayer because that just makes it more enjoyable. Also, if you like couch co-op, there's actually a split-screen co-op to up to, I believe, eight people which is absolutely insane i think this is going to be totally fun now i will say i didn't get to play much of the online multiplayer because it is still pre-release so just bear with me there i haven't been able to play it very much i played it a little bit but not enough to tell you what i thought about it so i won't be talking about that at all however i will be talking about what i think of the game how much fun i've been having and whether or not you should pick it up so let's go ahead and get into that right now. For me, I played Quake 2 on the Nintendo 64 because that was the console I had back in the day. However, I do know it is slightly different than Quake 2. So I got to playing Quake 2, super excited about this about two weeks ago and wow, was I blown away. I've been playing it actually on my Steam Deck, which is a ton of fun. It's perfect for this. I'm pretty sure it hasn't been verified for the Steam Deck yet. However, I had no problems with it once I got my controller set up in the proper configuration. It was a blast. Being able to play it on my handheld device was great. I was able to play it on my couch, anywhere I went. Having it on the Steam Deck or potentially on the Nintendo Switch is absolutely amazing. So I definitely think it is awesome there. I will also say all of my gameplay capture footage actually came from my Steam Deck. So if you see something that's interesting there, just think I was playing this in a portable mode the whole time. It's totally fun. It looks amazing. The controls are great. And I definitely love this game. It throws me back to an era when we were getting games like this. These first person shooters back on 64 bit graphics were so much fun. I absolutely love this game. I haven't played Quake 2 on the 64 in quite a long time. So picking it up on the Steam Deck was just an amazing game. I definitely suggest you pick it up. But I wanna say they've really put a lot of work into this. It controls well. Obviously the music and the sound effects go perfect with this game, but it's just, it feels amazing. It works with it and makes it even better. And I feel like the sound effects and the soundtrack are one of those things that really bring a game together. And I feel like Quake 2 definitely has that. And the graphics look great as well. Obviously you're still getting the kind of 64 bit kind of look but it looks much better than if you were to play this on a PlayStation 1 or a Nintendo 64 like you did back in the day. So I definitely think this is a ton of fun and well worth it. Now, what do you think? Should you pick it up? I definitely think you should. If you like games like Quake 2, or maybe you loved Quake 2, or any of the Quake games, I highly suggest this. I think it's gonna be a ton of fun. I cannot wait till a lot of people get online for online multiplayer because that'll just be an absolute blast. For the little bit of amount of time I played on it, I was enjoying it, but I still need more time with a bunch of people on it to let you know what I think about it. So I'm very thankful that Bethesda and id Software gave me this code. Obviously, I have to be upfront with you. They reached out, we talked, they gave me the code. I've been playing it for two weeks, it's been a blast. But I definitely think if I would have just 
stumbled upon this game on the Steam OS uh, Steam account, or if I was on my Switch and I found it, I would definitely have to pick this up. It's definitely well worth playing. It's a ton of fun, and if you like games like this or you loved Quake back in the day, this is a great way to get back into playing Quake because it just feels so natural to play. I think it controls a little better than it did back in the day, which is even better. I love when things are slightly better than what they used to be when they remake it or remaster it. I think this is a game you definitely need to check out. But for the time being, I'm going to get out of here because I want to play more of this. So check out that video if you haven't already. This game is a ton of fun. I think you'll definitely enjoy it, whether it's on the Steam Deck, the Switch, or whatever platform you play it on, you'll definitely enjoy it. So I'm going to get out of here and play some more of it, but go check that out if you haven't already.